Ugandan Olympic marathon runner Rebecca Cheptege tragically died on Thursday morning, four days after she was dosed in petrol and set on fire by her boyfriend in Kenya. Cheptege, who represented Uganda in the Paris Olympics, suffered burns covering more than 75% of her body in the horrific attack on Sunday. She succumbed to her injuries in the intensive care unit of Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldoret, Kenya. The cause of death was reported as mouth poor organ failure. The Minister for Sports, Peter Ogwang, expressed deep regret over the incident, calling it an unfortunate tragedy. We are indeed saddened. Um, yesterday uh, we had uh, discussions and I was briefed by my minister that he had had very good uh, engagement with his counterparts in, uh, uh, in Kenya and where the government of Kenya was trying to uh, do all it could to take care of the uh, of Rebecca, to, you know, to transfer her to uh, Nairobi for you know better care and attention. So we were hopeful that uh, those efforts would yield uh, fruits. But today, early morning, I received uh, information from the uh, general secretary uh, of the Federation uh, of Athletics in Uganda, and they told me that unfortunately uh, they couldn't transfer Rebecca to. Uh, Nairobi, um, her kidneys were failing, and uh, ultimately she succumbed um, uh, to you know the bans and uh, the failures that came with that. Actually, what makes them go to Kenya? Some of them is because of the issues of managers. It's one of the core issues, which I'm actually going to talk about it. But not that they are looking for training facilities. No, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, the world record holder, the Olympic champion is here and trains in Uganda. And I'm talking about Joshua Cheptegei. When have you heard that Joshua goes to train in Kenya? Those who saw Cheptegei in Paris describe her as a joyful person who loved both people and her country. But it really is about us as, a, as human beings and, and as, in our societies and how we handle each other in relationships. And um, the, the, the how the society has got to teach everybody else going into relationships about how to deal with other human beings because uh, uh, violence among spouses is, uh, is not a new thing, especially in our societies in Africa. So we, we know quite a bit about what happens with, with this, and, and it's either way, it's male and female. We commensurate with the family of Rebecca today her colleagues she was training with and was competing with, all her siblings and her parents. We commensurate with them and the members of the Athletics Fraternity because Rebecca Cheptege has been one of our excellent athletes, an Olympiad who was with us in Paris during this year's Olympic Games. A report from local administrators indicate that Cheptege and her ex-partner had been involved in a dispute over a piece of land. The minister emphasizes that the Athletics Federation, along with police, are actively investigating the incident. Cheptege is the third prominent sportswoman to be killed in Kenya since October 2021. The Ugandan government is working with the Kenyan authorities to arrange for the return of her body, for burial. Ngabo Amon reporting for UBS TV.